66 uh, forward Christopher, Christopher Galbraith from uh, Usable High School. Uh, we're just going to ask him a couple questions. He just played in the, uh, the D Rose Classic right now, the Team D Rose Classic. And uh, we're just going to you know, let you guys get to know him a little bit. So, can you tell us a little bit about your, uh, the high school season last season? Um, talk about it a little bit this season. Last season, we started off kind of rough. We ended up going down to the super sectionals. We lost by Hillcrest by one. This year, we started out good. We blew Southland now. It was kind of like a blue division team, so it was like just getting the kinks out. Then we played Lane Tech. They kind of zoned us, so we wasn't really like used to it. But, you know, we came back, and we ended up losing. And then today, it was we just, at the end, we didn't close very good. What about your, you kind of have to take a leadership role for this, do uh, you feel like, you know, you're in that kind of position for this team, or, or what do you kind of, you know, what's your role on this team, do you think? Well, yeah, I me mean, being the senior, I'm the leader of the team, I kind of like have to coach my, uh, help coach on the, the court with my coach, and, you know, things like, things like that, tell the point guards, different little things, and just being a leader vocally, being a leader on and off the court. What's the one thing that uh, Dusable has to do to win the state this year or to make it down to, uh, you know, I think state? to make it down to state, we have to do one thing, and that's just play team basketball. If we don't play selfish, we pass the ball, swing the ball, we can go very far this year. So you heard that first year for uh, Sable to make it down to state, team basketball, and, uh, you know, it's, that's going to be their key to get down to state so far. We'll talk about your AAU season. Are, did you, were you on AAU circuit last season? Or? Yeah, I was on the uh, Shot Time Diablos. And that was like a major, major team, but it was one of the major teams. We went um, different places, Wisconsin, and the LA tournament, Florida. I pretty much got a lot of recognition for playing AAU. And um, my coach, Coach Chuck from the Shot Town Diablos, he got me way better with my forework and things. So, yeah. so that kind of you know helped you out to yeah, kind of helped me out a lot. Good. Uh, what about the recruiting process for you? How's that kind of been shaped up for you? Well, it's going pretty well. I got a couple D2, D3, small D1s, but I'm really just searching my options, hoping for another opportunity, better coaches, another school maybe, more schools would be better. What are you looking for in a school? You know, what do, what do they kind of have to? Well, I'm looking first for a good coach, a good relationship between the coach, see how, see the camaraderie between the team, because I feel like teamwork is what you need for the teams to play very well. Then I want to look at the education, because education would be nice if I don't go to the NBA and I don't have to make a fun life, so. Good, and then who do you kind of compare your game to, kind of playing styles? Who do you kind of try to model after? If you, you know, college guy, NBA guy, either way, you know, somebody that just. Yeah, well, I just like to model myself after Michael Jordan, being like, everyone's a Kevin Durant fan, I'm a Kevin Durant fan. I try to take some of his moves every now and then, but realistically, he's 6'9", I'm 6'6", six, six, so I try to model myself after someone like Michael Jordan, someone who came from a team where he really put had to put the weight on himself and play team ball, get the team going, like being a leader, like something that I have to do right now. What are your strengths and, strengths and weaknesses on the court, and how have you been able to, you know, use the offseason to kind of develop those, you know, weakness areas? Well, my strengths were driving to the right, right hand. I could um, be a set shooter, you know, in the corners and the wing, pop out. I pretty much worked on going left real hard, so I'm moving my feet more on defense. Okay, and then, you know, just, so then you kind of worked that on that this summer to kind of just, you know, be an yeah, all-around contender. All contender. Perfect. And then... Now tell a little bit about yourself. What kind of pumps you up before a game? What music you got? You listening to music or what do you? Well, I listen to Jay Z, okay. Black Albums, Blueprint Three. I really pretty much just get in my head uh, and shoot around. I just think about what I'm gonna do, what shots I'm gonna take, look at the players and see how I think they might play me. Like today, he played me boxing once, so I see I had to let my team pretty much do a little things and then sometimes just get the ball post up, just things like that. Because you could kind of cause a matchup problem because you know your size and then right. the way you're. You know, kind of versatile, and yeah. you know, we saw that on the court today. A player has um, gave you, you know, kind of fits. You know, what kind of guy has kind of gave you matchup problems before? If you had to kind of say the hardest person you've had to guard, the hardest person I had to go out with, I would have to say is um, trying to think. Out of our conference this year, oh, I'm, anywhere, yeah, man, anywhere. A circuit. circuit. At the at the our conference this year, I had to say Cliff. Okay. And he kind of just, because he's so, you know. Yeah, he's bigger, but I mean, I, I got him in, outside, and then, you know, he goes down low if I can't get around him then. So you got yeah. teammates to help you out in the right. back, and then, uh, what, you playing 2K13, or what's, you 
2K13 is your team the Nets because you like Jay-Z or what's your team? <laughs> no, 2K13 I like to play with the Oklahoma Thunder okay. and the Knicks. So you just like to dunk all day with Durant and Westbrook. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we appreciate your time man. This is Derek Spawn here. Let's you know get it!